Hey guys, it's your good buddy Davo here, and today we're going to be playing something that'll probably make me want to end my own life slightly less than Spore did, Rimworld. But not only that, we're going to be playing as everyone's favourite libtard destroyer, the master of facts and logic. That's right, we're playing as Ben Shapiro. And as you can see, he's got some pretty good stats, and he's an intellectual, obviously, and he's, uh, he's got some other traits as well. Anyway, let's not mess about. Let, let's just get in here and destroy these liberals. And where better a place for our hero Ben to start than in the White Mountains? So here we go. We've landed with our trusty pet dog. Uh, ooh, yeah, I, I don't think Ben would call his dog Pablo. Anyway, let's just get our little base started up. Th this cave looks alright, but we've got to get some food going, so we'd better plant some rice. No, Ben, Ben, don't go for a walk. Plant the goddamn rice. So I was thinking we could utilize this little cave-in area here and block it off so that we can make a little corridor where raiders will have to walk in, and then we can encircle them and destroy them with facts and logic. Well, would you look at that? We have a nice little psychic suit to make our hero Ben feel a little better. Unfortunately, Ben doesn't believe in that psychic liberal nonsense, so it doesn't have any effect on him. Oh god, oh fuck, a killer bunny has entered the area. Can our hero Ben defeat this vile and probably left-leaning creature? I don't really know how this charge gun works, but... Yeah, you're using a lot of ammo there, Benny. Well, if it works, it works, but I feel like that could have been done a little more efficiently. Good old Rimworld gives me a few seconds of downtime after the killer bunny attack only to just start lighting fires all over the place. Oh god, Ben, no, don't go to bed, there's still fires, oh god, oh fuck. Things actually seem to be going pretty good here, we got a nice little base set up, and Ben doesn't have to eat off the floor like some kind of libtard anymore, so he's, he's pretty happy about that. You never know, things might go well. Okay, so somebody has crash landed nearby, and it looks like they're gonna bleed to death in 14 hours. And they've also apparently survived the gunshot to the head, so, so that's pretty hardcore. Should we rescue them? I don't know, they, they don't want to do any labour. Sounds like the kind of lazy liberal communist we're trying to avoid. Probably safe if we don't bother and leave Ben to just keep doing whatever he's doing. A potentially deadly heat wave's just started and Ben doesn't seem to give a shit. He, he's just out here playing horseshoes. Oh, here we go, it's raid time. Looks like it's a recurve bow against Ben Shapiro's lightning wit and superior logic. Oh god, oh fuck, Ben, no, don't go to bed, we're being raided! Well, that was pretty easy. I mean, this gun seems kinda OP, but... Hey, another liberal down. And almost as soon as that was over, a new guy's joined the settlement, and he's a gamer! Holy shit, gamers, rise up, it's gamer time. See, this guy's a real hardcore gamer. He's sleeping on the ground outside while it's over 40 degrees. I bet he's got like 10 victory royales on Fortnite. Jesus Christ, another raid? When will this game stop throwing shirtless people at me? Alrighty boys, here they come. Well that was pretty fucking quick. What do we say Ben? Next meme! Another person's crash landed and this time it's the gamer dude's mum. She's kinda useless but he's also pretty on edge so if I don't rescue her he might kill himself. Oh, for fuck's sake, give me a break. At least they're wearing a shirt this time. You know the drill, fellas. Another libtard destroyed. So I noticed that Ben's been feeling a little stressed lately, so I got him a brand new paste dispenser. Now he doesn't have to eat raw rice. He can process it into weird green goo shit instead. Oh shit, turns out he doesn't like the paste dispenser and he's finally snapped. Now he's running around insulting people. I, I, I guess that's pretty much just what he does normally though. Gamer is being absolutely blasted. Looks like he's gonna lose his shit too. Oh, oh, gamers have risen up! Oh, that was over quick. He just, just beat the fuck out of Ben for a second there. Well, now that he's hurt, at least he'll be out of action for a while. And of course the guy that inflicted the injury has now come to bandage him up. Oh, for fuck's sake. Now Gamer's mum has snapped, and she's just insulting Ben while he sleeps. I mean, come on, she's 1% under the minor break threshold. That's some bullshit right there. This colony's just gonna insult itself into ruin. 
Okay, Ben lost his shit again, and now he's breaking the really OP gun we got at the start. Ben, you total fuck stick, we need that. Yeah, I hope you're happy, you absolute dickweed. The next raid's probably gonna kill us all. Having a look at the social tab, Ben really isn't out here to make any friends. Like, damn, this guy hates him. And funnily enough, so does his mum. You know, everything seems to be going okay. Gamer Mum is back up and working again, we've got a new colonist who's joined, and Ben also has a pretty snazzy new hat. So yeah, all seems pretty good. I'm definitely jinxing it and will be overrun by space pirates or something soon, but hey, we're doing okay at the moment. Ah, there it is. Fortunately, it's only one guy again. Randy really isn't throwing much at me so far. Classic Rimworld raids. Instead of actually shooting back at me, he was too busy trying to set my stone cutting table on fire. Can't really just leave his body there. I think it's time we made some sort of mass grave. Just gonna plonk this guy over here. Okay, so a tidal wave of chickens have just wandered in and tamed themselves. Oh god, they're just coming for my rice. We're gonna starve. Not to worry, fellas. There's an easy solution for this. Ben's throwing a party. That's nice. Though it looks like he's just using it as an excuse to get everyone into the same room so he can throw insults at them. Looks like Gamer Mum has lost her shit again and is just running off into the wild. Oh well, I'm, I'm not gonna stop her. See ya, libtard. What a state this place is in. There's dead chickens everywhere, our former colonist lost her shit and is now sleeping out in the mud and rain, and now Ben is throwing a fit and going around punching walls and shit like an angry white teenager. Well now we've got a two-person raid, so we'd better actually start putting some defenses together. Got him. The other guy's running away, but I don't know where he is. But hey, we can actually take a prisoner this time. Apparently Ben shot their left eye out, so I'm not quite sure how they're still alive, but that's pretty impressive. Probably time we got around to solving the swath of chicken corpses we have lying around. Luckily, we have a mass grave for this exact kind of problem. Sensory Mechanites. What the heck? I don't know what that is, but it sounds kind of bad. Can we stop wailing on Ben? I mean, I get why, but we really need to stop beating the shit out of each other. Oh great, now that Ben's hospitalized, the killer chinchilla has entered the area. See, everything might look okay at the moment, but if we scroll over here, you'll notice a big fucking fire going on. That's just how Rimworld works. It's been ages since anything's happened, but I've finally got another raid. And it's only one person again. Come on, Randy, don't be a little bitch. I've got some mod that overhauls the combat and makes ammo an actual thing, but... The combat's still kind of goofy. Okay, Ben's about to have another tantrum if he holds a gun for any longer. Oh shit, no, Pablo! We got to keep Pablo alive, fellas. But who the heck are all these people? Okay, so they're war merchants. And you know when I said that the mod I had added ammo? Turns out that merchants will carry guns, but not any ammo. That's not good. They're a persistent bunch. I'm not buying anything from them, but that won't stop them from just congregating outside my base and opening my doors periodically. Good news, Pablo has developed an immunity to the plague and is up and about again. This is probably the happiest I've ever been playing this game. Another wild naked junkie has wandered into the area and... Why is everyone around here a goddamn communist? There's another raid coming. Ooh, this time it's three people. Ah, uh, wait, no, one of them's just another naked junkie who wandered into the area. I feel like this whole not being able to buy ammo thing is gonna be a problem, considering how we just keep running out of bullets. We're gonna have to resort to bows and arrows soon enough. We've got another manhunter animal, and this time it's the big thingy that explodes when it dies. Run, Ben, you madman. Oh god, he's gonna get hit by one of those arrows, isn't he? There we go, we've taken it down, so now we'll just leave it for a while, and when we hear a big explosion, we'll know it's dead. In the meantime, it looks like Gamer Mum is still causing problems and is having fist fights with the other naked junkies. Whoop, there it goes. Pablo, no! Well, the good news is that Pablo is once again stable, and we're actually going okay. We got six people now, and of course there's a fucking fire. Turns out my ammo problem could have been solved a long time ago just by making this workstation. So 
that makes me feel like a bit of a dumb head. Yeah, I turned Randy up a little bit because it was getting a little bit boring and now everything is kind of going to shit. Everyone's dying of hypothermia and is about to go mental. And now a gazelle is after us. Oh, I kind of forgot about you going crazy. Now you're getting mauled by a gazelle. Mental breakdown animal slaughter. Pablo? Pablo, no! Fuck this game. Fuck this game to hell. You guys better be posting a big fat F in the comments for Pablo. We're gonna give him the proper burial he deserves. Forget my colonists, think I'm about to have a mental breakdown. Well, the cold snap is finally over, but now we've got a ton of other shit to worry about. All the crops are gonna die and Ben's about to lose his shit again. To be fair to him, he hasn't done it for quite a while. Ah, Randy. First you send the cold snap, and then you send the army of manhunting squirrels. I mean, I'm glad it was the squirrels that decided to hunt us down and not the big explodey ones, because this wasn't much of a threat. But hey, now we can make some squirrel jackets. Alright, so in peak Rimworld fashion, Gamer Mum has gone crazy and is trying to murder her son because of a drug addiction. And people say that gamers aren't the most depressed race. Looks like we found some ancient danger. Yeah, I'm not gonna dig through that wall. Remember when I said I was glad that the angry squirrels weren't the big explodey boys? Well, shit. I think the most dangerous part of this is going to be avoiding setting the entire map on fire. Ah, oh, piss off, Randy. Ah, oh, there you go. Ben's going on one of his classic insulting sprees. Just like old times. Happy birthday, gamer. Your present is asthma. What a shitty birthday present. Ben's just sitting here playing poker by himself. Uh, he's... Oh, no, no, he's had enough. <laughs> just as the other guy came to play with him, too. I'm not gonna lie, it's been pretty boring for a while. As you can see, I've just done a lot of building and nothing's happened despite going to the highest difficulty, except for this pissing heat wave that just won't end. I think once it's over, I might go open up that spooky ancient wall just to uh, spice things up a little bit. Alright fellas, we're doing it. What's the worst that could possibly happen, huh? Nothing can defeat Ben Shapiro's facts and logic. Except maybe these guys. They might be able to. Come on lads, hold the line. Oh, oh god, oh, no. oh god, oh fuck, no, Ben! My hero Ben Shapiro is dead, oh god, oh fuck, no. This can't be real, I'm literally shaking and crying right now. My hero Ben Shapiro is gone, I can't believe this. It's just Gamer and his mum left now. Oh, no, no, it's just Gamer now. Wow, they just straight up shot his head clean off. That's a big rip. Well, a tasteful ending for a tasteful video. I hope you enjoyed this horrible adventure in RimWorld more than I did making it. Make sure to smash that like button for Ben Shapiro and post a massive F in the comments for Pablo. God rest his soul. And, uh, yeah. That's it. You can, uh, you can piss off now.